Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board certified psychiatrist. Physical symptoms, physical symptoms can be uh, messages, uh, subconscious messages from your mind, uh, trying to tell you something. Okay. Um, uh, a simple example that I probably have used many times before is if you're at work and you're getting stressed out at work uh, because uh, they're laying off, they've laid off people and they're piling on the work of the people they've laid off, they've laid off onto you uh, and that suddenly you have a workload that's impossible to complete. So uh, it's very stressful. They still expect you to get everything done in, and, and there's not enough time in the day to get everything done. Uh, and they're forcing you to work uh, overtime, to work late, to take stuff home. You're getting stressed out. And what happens? You start to get uh, headaches. You start to get uh, neck neck pains. You start to get all sorts of, maybe perhaps stomach ache. Okay, right? You're getting these physical symptoms. Why? Yes, stress can call, cause all these things. But basically, you know that there's something wrong with this job and you're not doing anything about it. You know that they're abusing you and creating like a toxic environment for you, a, a no-win environment for you, a stressful environment for you, but you don't do anything about it. Now, uh, it, it, it may be because, you, you know, you need the benefits, you need the job. You're afraid uh, if, you, if you quit or uh, look for another job, there may not be one there. It may not be as good. So, so your mind knows that this, you know, you've talked to people there, you've talked to your HR, you've talked to your boss, that it's, it falls on deaf ears. They're not interested. They're much more interested in working you to the bone. And then when you fall apart, they'll just replace you with somebody else. So you know, on a conscious level, you shouldn't be there. Uh, but fear keeps you there. So, but the point is, you're not listening to yourself, right? Uh, and so what happens is your your mind then says, you know, I got to get I got to get uh, his or her attention. Uh, they, they, you know, you got, they got to hit you in the head with with a hammer to go. Hello, uh, this is the wrong job for you. This job is going to kill you. So what do they do? So, so the subconscious mind says we got to get the attention of this person. They're not listening. So you got you get migraines and, you know, and you get headaches and uh, yeah, et cetera. You get neck neck pains and uh, or. Uh, or maybe it, it, uh, you're so distracted by your anxiety and your anger and your depression uh, uh, from all the stress that uh, you're just not paying attention and, uh, and, you, you, you know, and you slip on a banana peel and uh, suddenly you're out, uh, you're out, you, you get out of your job in a creative way. Unfortunately, it's through having a work injury and now you're disabled and in pain and that's a whole new nightmare. It would have been much better to leave the job uh, under other circumstances. The mind is very powerful uh, you know and and the mind is is constantly telling you uh, messages uh, through your body the mind body connection is very strong and if you uh, try to look at the symbolism maybe you'll discover uh, it, it, you know uh, what the trigger of a physical symptom is that 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 trigger is a is a psychological trigger and not that you have not necessarily a uh, you know that, that there's something wrong for example um, you, we've heard expressions, uh, you know, uh, he's a pain in the neck or I've got a pain in the neck, uh, or, uh, you know, what could that be? If you have a, a pain in the neck, let's see, you start having a pain in the neck. Now it could be, you've got, you know, you, you slept on it funny. It could be that you have a, uh, you know, a, a a bulging disc. It could be uh, all sorts of reasons why you have. Uh, it could be stress, why you have a pain in the neck. But uh, the point is, if you try to consider that as symbolism, like uh, okay, th that perhaps somebody in your life is a pain in the neck and really annoying you, and you haven't been dealing with it, and you haven't been addressing it with this person, you haven't been trying to like make the relationship better. You've just been building up more resentment. Uh, towards that person, more anger towards that person. You've kept it to yourself, and so you get a. So now you start getting a pain in the neck. And where the hell did that come from? Yeah, it came from you. And the symbolism might be okay, right? I think that guy's a pain in the neck, and I haven't said anything to him, and I keep on putting up with the sarcasm and the ridicule and the and the you know the the digs and the you know the jokes that aren't jokes. They're attacks, and I keep putting up with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the pain in the neck. And if you deal with that situation, if you think that may be the pain in the neck, this guy, and you deal with it in an appropriate way, your neck pain goes away. It's a thought. 
it's food for thought. You should think about it. Now, another one, which uh, another sort of symbolism, possibly, is uh, let's say you're fine, and then suddenly you discover that you have you're you're constipated, and you have like a, you know a, a really bad case of constipation, and you you know it's not like you've done anything different with your diet. Uh, nothing has changed, but suddenly you have this new dynamic that's not pleasant. Uh, well, what might the symbolism be? <laughs> well, when you're constipated, you're uh, full of S. <laughs> you're full of it, right? Uh, so maybe you should think, oh, okay, well, is there, is there some aspect in my life when where I'm just spouting something, uh, taking a position, uh, being arrogant about something, and, and it, it really isn't true. I'm really full of it. I'm really full of BS, and uh, and and that's not cool. Well, if that were to be the case, if that kind of interpretation were to be valid, then if you were to look at the situation and decide, you know, I've been too uptight, I've been too anal retentive about this, I need to lighten up, and then perhaps the constipation goes away. These are simplistic ideas, but it's food for thought. The mind-body connection is huge. So if you can figure out your mind, oftentimes you can heal your body. All right, that's it. Thanks. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.